Many diverse republics make up the USSR, of which Russia is the most well-known. From its bloody revolution beginning in 1917 to its World War II battles, the USSR has always felt that it has had to stand alone against the rest of the world. More than 20 million Soviet citizens were killed during World War II. It has been invaded numerous times from Napoleon to Hitler. As a result of these military encounters, the Soviets have built up an air force comparable to NATO's. If the U.S. and its NATO allies are to maintain air superiority in the skies of the free world and deter an attack, it is vitally important to know the fighting capabilities of the USSR's air forces. The Tu-20 Bear was designed as a long-range strategic weapon bomber by the Andrei Tupolev Design Bureau in the early 1950s. It is a classic example of one of the Soviets' fundamental military philosophies, that when a weapon system becomes outdated for its original mission, it is modified to serve a new role. Since the deployment of newer and faster Soviet jet-powered bombers, the Bear has been converted to an armed reconnaissance platform electronic intelligence gatherer, and to launch long-range cruise missiles such as the Kelt, Kangaroo, and the latest supersonic AS-15. It is flown by the Soviet's naval and long-range aviation forces. Inside the Bears Weapons Bay could be 22,000 pounds of bombs, mines, and anti-submarine torpedoes. Air-to-surface missiles would be suspended from the fuselage or wings. The Bear's crew of seven fly in a 160-foot-long aircraft powered by four monstrous 15,000-horsepower turboprop engines. The twin counter-rotating 18-foot propellers are coarsely pitched for maximum fuel economy, so 25-hour-long missions are not unheard of. <laughs> 